Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for coming. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to click that subscribe button before we get into this video. Really appreciate it. I will wait three seconds. Today's video is about five of the oldest tools that I still use today. So I have been currently updating a lot of our tools. We've gone to mostly a cordless job site. New technology is amazing, but I've rounded up some stuff that I still use that's very old. Now, some of these tools I bought brand new over 20 years ago, and some of them I've obtained, but they may have been used or already, already somewhat old, and then I've held on to them for many years as well. So the first thing on our list is something called a joist jaw, and I think it was made by a company called Grabber, and I don't know if that was um, obtained by somebody else, but what it does is it clamps to the side of your joist and we'll hold it up against your ledger without it falling. So let's say here's your house and then your ledger's right here. And then you clamp this to your joist and your beam's out here. So you put this on your beam, you bring this up and you stick it onto to your joist, onto your ledger board like that. And it'll hold it in place. I've had these for probably 20 years. There's no longer labels on them. They've been beat up and, and but they're very durable tools. I bought four of them at the time. I wish I would have bought more, but what you do these prongs dig into the side of the joist. So you put this down like this, make sure that this isn't overhanging too far, but like that your tab is overhanging the joist. And then you turn this, turn this clamping mechanism to suck it tight. And then this holds on to your ledger or a beam or whatever you're trying to hang it from. You gotta be careful though, because sometimes you can have a really small micro gap. So you might need to make an adjustment on there to make sure that your joist isn't too low. But you don't really have to worry about any of that because these are no longer available. You can go on Google and find them listed for sale, but when you go to purchase them, nobody has them. So I'm keeping my four. I've heard of guys, other guys have these as well. But as far as buying new ones, they're no longer available. So good luck finding them. You could probably fabricate your own. Still use these every day. Use them on this job we're on right now. So not a bad investment for 20 years. I think I paid 70 bucks a pair for them or something like that back in the day. A very robust pair of clamps. Something else that I've had a very long time that is no longer available. They're called the Pack Horse. Now, I'm not sure, I haven't done a full-blown uh, internet research on seeing, uh, seeing if I could find these anywhere but at least they're not in my local market. I can't just go to Home Depot, I think is where I purchased these. And these are fully plastic sawhorses. And they're wearing out, they uh, used to have spring-loaded clips, but they're no longer really spring-loaded, they're just clips. But they all fold up, so you can actually pull these apart. It's kind of a weird mechanism they have that holds it all together. And then you can stow them like this, so they pack up really tight. Come on now, there we go they pack into a nice tight square once you break them down. And they're a little bit cumbersome to get them to take apart. It's a little bit easier when you do them both at the same time. There we go. And you can carry them off like that. They're very long lasting because they don't rust. They're made completely out of, I'd say, I don't know what type of plastic this is, but probably some kind of polyurethane or polyethylene or whatever. There's also the ability to adjust them for height. But one thing I didn't like is you gotta push in on these side buttons right here. And you gotta push in so hard to get this to elevate. It took a while. And every time you move up, it stops on the next one. You gotta push them in again and go up to the next one. But so these are adjustable. They're just kind of a pain in the butt to adjust. So we just leave them on low and set them up like this. Make sure that clips on there and then they, they last pretty well. They are a little bit flexible because they are all plastic. I've had these for over 20 years and I leave them outside in the rain every year. I, I never store them inside and they've lasted this long. So I don't even know what they would cost nowadays. I, they weren't cheap when I bought them, but I thought, oh, these are so cool that I got a pair of them. So those are called the Pack Horse. All right, another tool I have that I use not on every job, but when we need it, it comes in really handy is this Genie Superlift. Uh, again, this is probably a good 20 years old. Uh, it's an earlier model. It doesn't have all the features that it came with. There used to be some side out riggers that came with this and it doesn't have it, but it does exactly what I needed to do when I needed to do it. And it's basically a winch system that you turn 
Oh, I've got it locked. Hold on. I got to unlock it. So it still has a safety lock mechanism on it, which is good. So you cannot raise it unless you pull this out of the way. You start turning this and it raises this fork and it's used to lift heavy materials into place. So we used this genie lift on our current deck build and we were able to pull these heavy beams, which two guys couldn't get up a ladder with, 12 feet in the air. So this, this uh, particular lift has a reach of 18 feet. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't use it on every job, but instead of having to go and rent one every time I need one, which is probably $50 for the day, maybe 60 bucks. I think I bought this one used on Craigslist for about 300. Had to make a little bit of a drive to go meet these people, but uh, they just wanted to see it go to somebody that was gonna use it and I put it straight to work. I've actually considered getting two of them so that I could lift bigger beams simultaneously with two lifts. But so far we've only had one time where I wasn't able to lift the beam. It broke the cable because it was old and frayed. And so I've replaced the cable since then. Over 20 years, I've got electrical tape on the handles and things like that. But I, I can't justify going and spending 2,500 on a new one when I have this one and it does the exact same thing. Uh, we just gotta be careful about side to side. We just gotta make sure our loads are really balanced and we've shim it if we have to, to keep it from tilting. And it's been a great tool. And I will continue to use it for the rest of my career or until something happens where it's not usable anymore. All right, another thing that I've had, uh, this is a newer purchase. I've probably had these since 2015, so almost 10 years. But these were manufactured, I believe, in 2008, so they're 15 years old. And that's just some scaffolding. Uh, this one's called Bill Jacks, and they're very popular throughout the nation. But sometimes you gotta have it doing what we do, and it's a much safer way to build. Trying to move ladders and, and small planks around a curve is really a hassle. So being able to have these set up at the elevation we need and eight, the ability to move them around because they have wheels is kind of nice. So they also lock in place, kind of. Again, they're a little older, so uh, some of the wheels are a little worn out, but they still work. So again, bought these used on Craigslist, I believe, and I've been using them for 10 years almost. They just work really good. They're a little bit of a pain to set up sometimes, but once they're set up and you have them there, they're just really nice to have. So uh, another tool that we have had for a while that really works well for us. All right, guys, and one more thing that we have that I've had for quite a while I really enjoy using are these A-frame ladders. Again, these are probably close to 20 years old, 17 years, somewhere in there. They are aging, and I have an 8-foot, a 10-foot, and a 12-foot version of this ladder. You can see I had to do a repair on the leg because I accidentally hit it with my mini skid steer one day when I was in a rush and crushed it, and it made it really weak. These ladders are starting to degrade a little bit. Um, they're probably time to upgrade. So I'll be, I'll be looking for some new ladders here pretty quick. But these A-frame ladders, excuse me, a three-point ladder is a little more stable than like an A-frame, depending on your terrain. Now, sometimes it might be better if you have an adjustable leg ladder or something like that. But these orchard ladders, some people call them an orchard ladder or a tripod ladder, have done us the most justice. I probably use the eight footer the most and then the 10 footer and then this 12 footer the least. But on a taller deck that's 12 feet high, we're definitely using this 12 foot ladder. And that's why I had to make the repair on it because it was just too weak to keep using. So I'm going to probably buy the exact same ones. They've lasted me a really long time. As soon as I bought one, I bought it at a local lumber yard. I went back and ordered a 10 footer. And then I like that one so much, I ended up getting a 12 footer. So I use them all the time and they work great. So uh, amongst the, uh, all the other ladders we use, these are some of the oldest ladders that I have and some of the most uh, longest lasting, except I did storm outside and they are faded and they probably have degraded a little bit by being outdoors. I just don't have the capacity to store all this stuff inside all the time. So we we have ded dedicated locations where we put things and it's not under cover, it's just in the weather. But you know, I think 20 years for a ladder, you're probably well past its lifespan of, or where it's expected to last. I mean, some, some ladders last much longer than that, but these ones uh, I'm really happy with and another longevity tool that we've had for many years. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day.